Hello there. It's good to see that you are back. I appreciate you coming back, back again. So we are back with some Colorado A&M. It's the Hawks. First game of year number three. We need to hit the recruiting trail hard, and we cannot mess this up. We got to go after some guys that we might not have the greatest opportunity to get, the greatest odds to get, but we have to change things up and change things around. We're going to be going after safety, middle linebacker, a tight end, and uh, I think outside linebacker or something along those lines. Y'all saw it. I was looking someplace else. I apologize. Anyways, though, man, we are the worst team in college football, ranked number one. 19. We are still pretty slow on defense, and that's why we're focusing on middle linebacker because until you get some depth on defense, our special teams are going to give up kicks like that. But we do get a sack to kick things off with Hubbard. Setting up third down and seven now from the 42-yard line. Carpenter pitches that thing, and Sanders goes nowhere fast. Big-time tackle right there to end the drive. So from the 20-yard line, we take gold and give it to Butler, our new starting tailback. He was a transfer guy. A couple of years ago. Looking downfield for Cox who makes the catch. And just like that we're up to the 41 yard line. Second down and 10. Dixon throws it. And that pass will fall into the hands of the defender McPhee. So we're looking for Fisher. Fisher's a transfer guy. So is Dixon our new starting quarterback. Our quarterback from last year. Clark. He's red shirting his senior year to have an extra year of eligibility because next year Dixon will be gone, hopefully to some professional football league or be an accountant, lawyer, or you know, something like that, paralegal, whatever it may be. Anyways, we stop them. They punt it and they pin us inside the 10. Then we go backwards. Second down and 14. We drop back. Left tackle got to pick himself up and we got to pick ourselves up out of the end zone. So we give up two points. Just like that, we're down two not a big hit on special teams. Black lane with the lumber. Third down and five. They're going to try to keep it on the ground and pick up the first down, but no, no, no. So our defense is playing fairly well. What's going on with our offense, though? Looking for Cox. Can't hang on to that pass. Falls to the grass. Second down and ten. Going to open things up again. Dixon rolls right. Throws it to Smith. Makes it a catch. He was the best receiver in college football last season. Second down and seven yards to go. Jumping off to Butler, showing off his hands right there. Works his way upfield, and he's gonna get us up to the 50 yard line. I'm gonna give it to him in the ground game. He's gonna maneuver his way around the corner and picks up around six. So from the 44, second down and four, we gotta do something with the football. We can't hang on to it, and Dixon does just that, and there you go. There you have it. So third down and Twizel under pressure yet again. We do throw it. It falls incomplete. was not going to be a first down nonetheless. So UAB takes over. They're going to give it up to Gutter. Sanders runs a man smooth over 40, 30, 20 inside the 10. Just barely gets caught from behind, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. So first thing, go from the nine yard line. They're gonna give it to Sanders again, again. This playing bully ball, and this gonna continue to turn those legs, play power football, and gets into the end zone. And now we're down by nine. We're gonna throw this thing to Smith, who makes the catch. Still showing off those hands. He might be our second string receiver now, but that's just overall. That's just a technicality. He is the number one guy in the country on this team all over the world. He's the best receiver, if you ask me. And, yes, I am biased. We go backwards, back-to-back -back plays. Our left tackle is struggling today, and our passing game continues to struggle as well. Somebody said that, like, I think 6-6, six and six, right? 6-6. Six and six. I don't know because UAB comes into this contest ranked 101. Now, the rankings really don't mean too much. Because in my other dynasty with UNC, there was a bunch of teams in the top five that ain't there. We played two ranked teams that combined for about two wins so far in our dynasty, and they played about seven games collectively, and they have two combined. So, yeah, there you go. Anyways, we're going to find Smith, who makes the catch. He gets us up past midfield. So, long story short, UAB could be a lot better than what their record or what their ranking is as we get hit yet again in the face. Our quarterback needs some protection on third down. It's not happening. As of right now, look at Sanders. There's one one man after another fails to bring him down from the 46-yard line. Up the gut running with power and brought down by Leach. And now it's going to be second down and three from the 39-yard line. They're going to go with the design QB keeper. And that gets them a yard. So third down and two. They're going to run the ball. Breaks the tackle in the backfield. And this dies for first down mark. He's like, let's just pick up this first down. We're going to fast forward just a little bit. Second down and four. They're going to get inside the five. Get inside the end zone. And we could be in some serious trouble as Carlton's a little bit shaken up. 
56 seconds on the clock. Dix rolls right. Looking for Butler and Mama. We have found a receiver in the backfield. This man could be legit. You feel me? Butler going to take it up past the 50 to the 45. Cuts it back and gets dropped right there. We burn our first timeout of the half. Going to look downfield for Smith. Brings it in and we're inside the 20 just like that. First down, 10 yards to go from the 15-yard line. Looking for Smith in the back of the end zone. It's tipped and then picked. And that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we walk out of here with zero points. We give up 23. Our defense played phenomenal until at the last few drives. So we're going to find Fisher, his first catch as a Colorado AM off. Oh. We're going to run the ball with Butler now. He gets loose. Past the 40, past the 45, up past the 50. And we're in UAB territory. The O-line holds up on this play. Going to find Cox. He's down the sideline with some speed. And the comeback could be officially on. But it only counts if we score on this drive. And Mama wants a touchdown. Dixon fires it. That pass going to be dropped by Cox. Got to look at that football all the way in. His eyes looked upfield. I seen it. I seen it. That pass falls to the grass as well. So we got to set up for a field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good. Mama cannot always have what she wants. So we're down by 20. Can we come back? Davis gets the carry. He's running with power. Finally gets dragged down, though. So a good tackle. After a game of five, though, they're going to give it to the big. No, not the fullback. Sanders was lined up by fullback. But he runs it for a game of round three. So third down and two. The blocking. Stupendous. Good tackle right there by Gordon. And now they have it inside the 50. They give it to Sanders one more time. Loose is he. Into the end zone, we can see. And he's going to, I think he actually plays fullback. We can have that big old face mask he's rocking. And yes, you can wear whatever face mask you want. But typically, that's a fullback face mask in this here game. So he's a fullback that can run like that. My gosh, why didn't I recruit him? Or was he already on UAB by the time that Country Meyer got this job? Fired over the middle. That pass will fall incomplete. So first down and 10. Sanders up the gut. And again, he just powers through tackles. So like the way our offense is playing, the way our defense is playing, six wins. I mean, that might be a stretch. Will we ever get to a ball game? Will we mess around and get fired this season? Boy, I hope not, but something has got to give. Sanders with the carry again. Leach, he's playing well. He's a, he's actually a cornerback that I moved to strong safety because of his speed. And I know it's kind of a, like, like, like you don't really care about your strong safety speed, but our strong safeties were really slow. And I can't have that in my secondary because I don't know if we're going to be able to catch anybody from behind as Davis gets into the end zone. I believe he is the actual tailback of UAB. So Smith from his own goal line. Up to the 20, up to the 25, out of bounds at the 30-yard line, and we lose our best player. Hopefully it's not too serious, or this season is really looking down in the dumps. Butler crosses the 40, has a first down in his back pocket. Finally forced out of bounds at the 47 in UAB territory. So the Blazers' defense continues to harass our quarterback. We take a few steps forward to take a few steps backwards. Butler to the 50, crosses the 45, and we'll be looking at a third down and manageable. Well, 0 for 5 on third down, though. 0 for 6 on third down, though, and we're going to go for it. Fourth and 5, looking down, Phil going to throw this one to the tight end. He's not going to get there as it gets broken up at the line of scrimmage. And UAB, those Blazers, are dominating. So second down and 10 from the 46, single back look. Play fake, and Leach is there for the sack. I'm telling you, I love his speed at safety, at strong safety. You know, I use her my linebacker, and I use her my strong safety. I'm going to click on right here because I'm tired of the foolery. Okay, we might have to do that a little bit more often. Dixon, looking downfield, throws it to Brown, who makes the catch. Brown with the E, holds on to the football. Third down and two. That tight end is not going to make the catch. Now it's going to be fourth down. Fourth and two. Going to go for it. Smith is in the ball game, and Smith goes nowhere fast. And that's going to bring the drive to an end. They have it inside the 20 already. Bennett, their backup quarterback, is in the ball game. Why not let the backups eat as well as Henry crosses the goal line? Our starters are still in. Okay, and their backups just just freaking threw a dot for a touchdown, and we struggling to move the ball versus their backup defense. So here we go. We're loose now. Butler, not the fastest man in the world, but does get to does get us up to the 35. Dixon under some pressure again. Our right tackle and left tackle struggle. I hope one of the guys I recruited was a tackle. I think it is. Now that I'm thinking about it. I hope it was because we we need all the help we can get. That's a horrible read, but Hamilton can't hang on to it. He did get the pick. But then he fumbled it. So we recover it fresh set of 10. Look at Cox coming across the middle. He makes the catch. Move those chains. From 23. Dixon looking for Cox across the middle. Makes the catch. Move 
those shanks were inside the tent. Fourth and goal now, though. And fourth and goal turns into first and ten for UAB, and that is going to do it. Six wins is a possibility. I just don't know, though. <laughs> I just don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Ah, man, 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 man. And, when, and it was a home game at that, too. Like, that really does suck. And I'm thinking, yo, we getting all these transfer guys. Remember, last year we got all these transfer guys. Old rules. They had to sit out a year. And it's like, oh, we're going to be decent. We're going to be so decent. And maybe we still will be decent. This is just one game. It's a long season. But, man, this first game might be telling the whole story. Hopefully it's just a chapter. Hopefully it is just a chapter. But that's that, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love, hot sauce.